One very useful but sometimes intimidating tool in Microsoft Word is Mail Merge. In this exercise, we're going to show you one of several ways you can work Mail Merge with Word. We'll have other exercises showing you different approaches. Let's assume you have a letter like this one, which is asking for unpaid YMCA dues, and you want to send it to a host of recipients. And you want to create that list right within Word. Let me show you one way to do that. I'm going to click up above the ribbon to the Mailings tab, and then click on Start Mail Merge. We are going to use this for this lesson in the form of letters, and so I'll go down to my step-by-step -step wizard. It asks where the recipient list will come from. In this case, <laughs> we're going to type a new list. Now I will click on Create. What pops up is something that looks a little bit like an Excel sheet. It has rows at the top and all this kind of information that I can put in. There's a button here to customize the columns if you want to add some or remove some. For example, if I don't need phone information, I can simply delete it. And if I don't need country, I can delete it. And so on it goes. I will just click on OK. So now basically I have a few less rows in my list here. So I will type the first one in here. Let's suppose it's Mr. Uh, Jim Jones. Uh, ABC Sheetrock. And I'll put in an address. And a city, state. Now, there are other columns here I'm not going to enter. So if I'm done with what I want for my letter, I click on New Entry, and it will pop down to the following row. I'm going to pause the recording here and fill in a few more, and then you will resume then. Now I've entered in the last of four entries, and all I do next is click on OK. Then it asks where to put the document. And I will go ahead and save this in a Microsoft address list. Now the nice thing about saving it is we have the opportunity to use it more than once. We can go back to it and edit it in the future. So I'll say YMCA, and I will click Save. Now it's, it's saved here. We can do other kinds of things with this if we want to. When the list is ready, click OK. We'll assume it's all right. And I'll click on All Right, OK. Next, we write our letter. We've got the recipient list, so I'll click on that. And we're actually using our current letter. So in order to put the information in the letter, we have to decide what we're going to put in. The two most common are the address block and the greeting line. So I'm going to click up here in the top of the letter, and I'll click on address block, and it shows me the format it will use. And I can scroll through my different ones to see what they look like. And I, I kind of like the way they look. So I'll simply click on OK. So it put in something called address block. Now I'll hit down, and now I need a greeting line. I might put in perhaps a date above or below it. Uh, let's do that just for fun. I'll put in um, 4, 5, 18. And we'll go down here, and I'll put in my greeting line. And here it says this is what it will look like, and I can preview each of these. And if there is no greeting line, or if it's invalid, it will just say, Dear Sir or Madam. I'm not going to worry about matching fields right now. We'll just click on OK. Now I have an address block and a greeting line. Now I'm done with that. That's the only thing I'm putting in from my merge document. Then I get to preview my letter. 
Now here it gives me an example of what it will look like. And I can uh, go back and forth through my four, four different uh, documents that I have. And it shows me what it will look like. The next step is to complete the merge. And here I can go in and I can, if it's all right, I can print them or I can edit them to a new document. We'll do the simple thing in this lesson. I'll just click on print. I can print all the records or some of them or just the current one. I'll do all. And in this case, I'll print them to a um, uh, PDF file. I'll pause this so we can see the results. And in this case, when I open up the document uh, that I've turned to a PDF, page one is to Mr. Jones. I scroll down. Page two, Mr. Smith. Uh, page three, Miss Sanchez. Page four, Mrs. Leavenworth. So I have the documents created just the way I like them in this simple approach to, to merging in Microsoft Word. When you want to do a mail merge from within Word but have no data file of the recipients, you can begin the whole process within Word, creating your own list and saving it for future use. We hope you found this lesson useful. And if you have, we'd like to ask you to like us, make any comments you have about this lesson or ones you'd like to have us construct, and then subscribe, if you would please, to our YouTube channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.